Good morning, family. Yo, so I saw this post on Facebook Marketplace about this family having a garage, no, a yard sale. Now I don't really like yard sales because it's super cutthroat. People get there at like 6 a.m. for a nine o'clock opening and they specifically have to title it No Early Birds because people do these things. I don't really like beefing. I don't like fighting. I don't like the commotion, the rah-rah. I like to go in, make the deal and get out. But the amount of games that I saw in this post, I had to, I, I we got to go see what's up with it. I couldn't find it, so. Oh, you want to get Ursula? That's pretty cool. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 How much of the cords? Uh, I think you can find them there. It won't be more than a buck. You can like grab a couple of them. You can do a couple of the buck for two of them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. She talks to Carrie. No one's spoken to me directly anyway. You and me and Martha's been your first sister's back for a party. Yeah. Oh, that sounds awesome. I love her.
You're interested in these because I don't want to bring them back in the house. I'll do them real cheap. I'm just. Do you know what console's there for? I'm not 100% sure. To be honest with you, I know this one. This one's Xbox. Okay. I think. I'm not sure if it's missing anything. Yeah, I don't. Thing. You know, I just Some got. Them... I got these on a lot of stuff, and I see. I throw them out. Um, so. I do want this box of stuff. Okay. Maybe the guitars. This is all 34. Mm -hmm. And then I do all the guitars for another like six bucks, 240. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. How much would you do for a, a bin? Like two, actually, two of them. Okay. What do you want to do for a bit? Which one you like? Which one you want? Are these two, maybe? These two right here. Yeah. What do you think? Five bucks. Five bucks for both. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bag rip. It's all good. There's it's some not... extra magazines for you. Oh, good. Looks. I don't know what the hell to do with those. I get them all the time, <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> cool. If you know what to do with them, I'll just keep tossing them in every time I give you. I'll I'll let you know if they, something happens yeah. with them. Let me know. All right. What's going on, man? Sheesh, bags. The remotes, the there's mad games and stuff. So I... these are all the games. Yeah. yeah. Those are the controllers and consoles. Where? Yeah. Thank you. All right, man. Have a good one. How's it going? Good. You want the game? You here for this? Yeah. You want to put it in there? Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm gonna plug it in for you so you see it works. No, I'm, I'm, you're good. I trust you. I sell them. I buy storages, so I sell uh, everything. Everything's for sale. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going to get another storage today, actually. I oh. buy a couple a week. I don't know if, what this is to. But you could have it if just in case man if you ever come across more video game stuff i'm right. down to just keep it's hard for me to keep everybody's messages so because i delete them so just keep uh, you can take my phone number no facebook uh friends if you want i only use my facebook for this okay everything yourself like all your stuff oh, okay word yeah yeah and i'm buying another i got a jersey probably fit you Nah, it. it's uh 3x, it's uh all star, not even used tags on it. I uh, no, I'm I'm video games though, video games, yeah, always I'm trying to think. I don't really have any more video games, phones, computers, but yeah, if I get anything, I'll keep you on here. I'll try, yeah, to, like you add me as a friend. I'll mess, I just added you, all right, so I'll message you, and um, hopefully, anytime you come across right, games, right, I'll yeah. shoot down here, yeah, all right, yeah, okay, we are back back at the dungeon dude after a like super slow week i am super pumped about all this stuff that we was able to pick up oh and if y'all hear anything in the background it's because i'm farming in honkai star right y'all mess with this i don't know if y'all mess i know a lot of people like anti gotcha game but this game is fire bro so as you can see we got so much stuff that it won't even fit all on the table just a couple like little wires in here really that doesn't matter too much but we got a crate with four four different guitars in it for honestly i don't even know what consoles then we got ps2 a bag of games a ps3 xbox a ba more bag of games two bins of stuff look at dude went look i don't even know when the last time i saw a game informer magazine blue dragon was made by mist walker which is the development team that's head by hironobu sakaguchi and sakaguchi is the person that was heading final fantasy up to nine i think so this game is supposed to be absolutely amazing of course i've never touched it as you can see at the 
the little Goku looking like character down there. The art was made by Akira Toriyama, who did Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Quest, and a bunch of other dragon video games, along with adding Blue Dragon to his catalog. Um, this is like an Xbox 360 exclusive. And again, I didn't grow up with Xbox, so I've never got to play this game, but I've only heard good things about it. Have you played this before? Honestly, dude, I don't really know what's all in here. I was just buying bundles. Look at this. We got two PS3s, Xbox 360, and some games. We got a whole like bag of different controllers in there. And over here, this is like a mixture of things I picked up from my plug, as well as some things that I got from the yard sale that I went through. So let's just start at this bin here. All right, so right on top, we got this baggie full of goodies. The first game being Borderlands, the legendary collection for the Switch. I picked this whole thing up from my plug. So there's a bunch of like random stuff. Like I have no idea. I think these go to either the Disney 2.0, like the Disney universe thing, or those, I think it's called Skylanders. I'm not sure exactly. I'm gonna have to do my research on these things to see if they're worth anything at all. But it came with four, wait, oh, hold on. What does it say? Oh, it says wireless portal of power for Nintendo Wii. So a, a portal of power. So I'm assuming it has to do with the, the Skylander thing. But yeah, so we got, we got, well, I guess there's three of these things, whatever these are. Does it say on the back of it? Okay. So this one says portal of power for the Xbox 360. So we got three portals of power for the Xbox 360 and then one for the Wii. And then we got transformers for the PS3. And is it, com it is complete and you can get about $15 for this game. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't even notice this. This is the big boy. What is, well, I guess it's not that big. It's pretty flat, like a pancake. What is this? There's another portal of power, but it doesn't say what console it goes to. And then the main attraction, we got Pokemon White version for the DS cart only but that's okay because this thing alone can get you like 75 80 dollars and shout out to my plug i told y'all get you a plug and cherish them i paid 30 dollars for everything in this bag here and then come into this bin so when i was at the yard sale i bought a bunch of video games that are over here we're gonna get to this stuff here but as i was about to head out i saw this bin of game or of dvds and on the thing it said right here you can see can you see it oh it might be on the other side Oh, okay, so you can't see it, but they it said 25 cents per DVD. And I was like, huh, I've seen people like really come up if they get DVDs really, really cheap. So out of my curiosity, I just asked like, yo, how much if I just buy the entire bin? Like I just, I'll buy both, both of these bins are filled with DVDs. So I was like, how much for two bins? And he was like, $5, both. Bro, I, so I've never tried to move DVDs before ever. Anytime I got DVDs as part of, oh, this is Max Payne, yes. Uh, is any anytime I ever tried to, um, or every time I, anytime I came across a DVD, wait, is this a PC game or is it a DVD? Wait a minute. Wait, I think this is the, yeah, wait a minute, this is the game. Wait a second, this is the PC game. Oh, snap. Whenever I used to come across DVDs, I would throw them out immediately. This time, I'm gonna see if I can try to flip some. I mean, I paid $5 for both of the bins. I, I feel like I'd at least get my money back. You know what I'm saying? All right, so now I'm gonna grab this baggie. Okay, this is actually, oh, okay, that's heavy, hold on. Okay, so these two actually came together and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this was kind of, this was kind of sketchy for me just because the person that I was dealing with, like their Facebook profile picture was like blackened. They had just made their Facebook account. And this was, I got all of this. We got an Xbox 360 Slim. Uh, we got two Slim PS3s and all of these games. I got this for $130. I don't know what the games are to be honest, but I was super sketched out. It was in a really bad neighborhood, like a really bad neighborhood. I was, I was so uncomfortable, but I said, dude, like, I got to go for it. I would not suggest or recommend putting yourself in a situation where you're super uncomfortable, but uh, I, I went for it and it was success for me. Let's see what we got for video games in this bag of goodies right here. What is this? Forza Motorsport. Is it actually Forza Motor? Oh, wait a second. Okay, so it's Forza. Is this supposed to be another disc on here? Yeah, disc two. So we got Forza Motorsport disc two. Okay. And then we have the Grand Theft. Ooh. Okay, hold on. We got the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy. Uh, oh, 
that okay wait we have street three for ps2 is this okay we got a double whammy i guess that makes up for the forza i see what you was doing there let's see what is this oh red dead redemption dude i don't care what anybody says red dead redemption and red dead redemption 2 oh the greatest hits version is some of the best storytelling top five video games of all time red dead redemption and red dead redemption 2 the story in this game these games are immaculate and then we got Doom, the BFG edition. Uh, boom poster included. Oh, does it come with the poster? It does come with the poster. Nice. Oh, we have a complete version of Doom. Uh, BFG. Uh, Doom 3. This is okay. We got a complete edition of Doom 3. We got Batman Arkham City. I have way too many copies of this game. We got Gears of War 2. What is this? Assassin's Creed 3. Dude, it's so unfortunate. Uh, there's actually a new Assassin's game coming out. Assassin's Creed Mirage, it's called. I was gonna be interested in the series, but um, it kind of I, I lost interest. I ended up getting into Uncharted. I absolutely love Uncharted, but these games aren't worth anything, unfortunately. Then we got Fable 2. I should actually be checking these. I'll just check them later to make sure that they're in there. But yeah, we got Fable 2. Then we got uh, Dante's Inferno, the Divine Edition, which I heard this game was great. But unfortunately, it didn't do well because everybody just kept on labeling it as a God of War clone. We got another Assassin's Creed game. Now, Assassin's Creed games, like I said. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. No, this is, is this disc one to the Forza? Uh, the Forza 4, I think it is. It doesn't say the disc number on there if it if it is i think this is this one but the thing about assassin's creed game you need like three or four of them just to be able to sell it for ten dollars plus shipping like they sell for nothing it's pretty sad and then next we have what is oh terraria okay next is mortal oh mortal kombat complete edition i think it's oh it does have the manual perfect this game goes for like twenty dollars i've sold it a couple times then we have skyrim of course this game this this is you might as well just keep this then we have have a pocket bike i'm sure this is a three dollar game this yeah then we have oh for, okay wait a minute so this is for the okay here goes the disc one there goes disc one so this yo the what was you what was old boy doing with the forza series because everything is misplaced everywhere oh wait this is this is the cover i don't know what's going on with this but anyways we have everything is complete everything it we got it we got all the discs that that's what matters at the end of the day <laughs> then next up we got uh portal 2 then we have dark siders 2 which is also complete then we have call of duty ghosts which y'all know i love getting my call of duty games because whoop well, because they are bread and butters for me bundle them up and sell them and the last game in here is red dead oh is this two or is this wait oh we got wait we have two copies of red dead redemption nice is this the uh no we don't we this is actually um open this what is this starhawk okay sick oh actually wait there's more games in here hold on we got uh what's this battlefield bad company 2 and we got call of duty black ops 2 this is ooh soul caliber 5 nice let's see we also have a set oh here goes assassin's creed brotherhood he's got his games like just all over the place <laughs> craziness black ops there goes the black ops 2 then we also have ooh fallout 3 okay the only fallout game i've ever beaten wait let me make sure it's in here because okay then we've got uh oh dead space 3 nice have you anybody played the remake um some of my homies played it and they said that it's probably should be game of the year game of the year for a dead space remake is kind of crazy to me what do y'all think then next up is batman arkham origins which is cool because i can just bundle it with the other batman game i got and okay i think this is the last game this what is this halo oh halo wars okay is halo okay yeah yeah halo wars okay cool and then like i said earlier we have the three consoles and for all of this oh we got the wires in there as well so for all of this i paid 130 dollars like i said earlier oh yeah i was putting everything away and i remember that this baggie was also part of that bundle there was no way i was gonna do that with one hand but anyways these controllers look look at these ps3 controllers a little bit of a little duddy red but yo look these are actually really really clean looking controllers i really okay this one's got some scuzzy on it but um i really hope that these work because i'm in desperate need of ps oh a silver ps3 controller wow low-key want to hang on to this one in case i come across a silver ps3 i don't know um but man this thing is gorgeous wait wait okay i was i was just complimenting me on the look you can see which one he cared about more what did you do it's got a duct tape bandage you already saw earlier that we got the blue dragon game informer i just still can't 
can't believe it came in for her magazines. Uh, this one has uh, Ghost Recon Advanced War 2 on the front. Grand Theft Auto 4. This is actually my favorite Grand... Well, between this one and um, uh, uh, San Andreas, these are like the... Those are the two best Grand Theft Auto games that they've come out with. And lastly, we got the Star Wars... Oh, no, not lastly. Star Wars Force Unleashed. Now, lastly... We've got Fallout 3, which I absolutely love this game, and it's the only Fallout game I've ever beaten. Now, as you can see, Nintendo Wii, $20. Uh, I think I paid $20 for this. This, I think, I think this came as part of uh, my the the stuff that I came that I got with my plug. Okay, we got a, we got a little box full of things. Um, we got the Wii. This is like all the Wii stuff, the Wii Mote, and then we got the the Wii Nunchuck. Um, then we got a couple of games. I picked this one up because, look, you can see it's a dollar, but it's sealed. So I was like, dude, why not? Dollar for a sealed game. It goes for like $10. Not really great, but I mean, a dollar for a sealed game. I just couldn't pass it up. And then we got Van Helsing for the PS2 complete. They was asking three bucks. Um, so I don't really know exactly what I paid for everything because I got all of this stuff in here. Um, we're going to go through everything, but I got all of this plus those four guitars for forty dollars so i don't know what that's gonna work out to um we also have this controller here this ps3 controller which i don't know if this works or not but like i like the more ps3 controllers the better because they are super hard to come by and i have so many ps3s that just i can't list it because i don't list it if they don't have all the pieces and one of those pieces is the controller then we got all of these wires now he said at first when i asked him like yo how much do you want for the wires he was like maybe three four dollar or something i don't know so i'd like took my mostly all the wires that he had in that box because they're like xbox wires they're hdmi proprietary uh playstation um av cords so i was like oh this this is all stuff that i definitely need and he was like honestly just just take them just he just i was like yo let's go so that's sick all of the wires that you see in here were technically free and the, oh there's a little bit of rubber okay at the bottom you can see that there is a black Wii and I want to oh we got to make sure we got to see if there's a game doubt it highly doubt there's a game in there but speaking of game also picked up ready to rumble boxing which you can see was a dollar and then we got this one for the personal collection Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 I told y'all I was trying to collect all the Tony Hawk games and I want to do that through buying bundles as I'm sourcing and not just like going on eBay or something and buying it second hand i just realized though that this is not the original case and complete wow i'm kind of bummed about that then we have another ps2 controller and i'm not gonna lie honestly i don't even remember where, where what this ps2 controller is part of is it part of my whole yard sale adventure is it part of that other bundle back over there i truly and honestly don't know but there's a ps2 controller and then this is that other bin of dvds trying to see if there's another hidden game oh my goodness entourage i love this show dude oh my yo when this show is over i was so sad i felt like i just had lost some of my best friends i don't see any other hidden video games in here but this is the other bin that i got that was part of. so basically i paid two dollars and fifty cents per bin for for these dvds and like i just i don't know i feel like let's say this dvd sells for five dollars right so that would be two dollars plus like two dollars or three dollars for shipping so but yeah that's five dollars ship so i paid five dollars for both the bins is it worth it that's kind of like nickel and diming right that's kind of like okay you make two bucks but is it worth the time and the effort is it worth the uh the sleeve the uh bubble mailer that it has to go in because i do have to buy those i get i buy fifteen dollars uh gets me 50 so also if y'all only know where i can get some cheaper bubble mailers i get mine from amazon 15 dollars for 50 of them um yeah, if you know any, any place I can get them cheaper, please let me know. But anyways, yeah, I don't know if this is worth it. I just said $5, why not give it a try? And then here are the four guitars that I had picked up at that yard sale. Nice, like I said, for all these guitars and for like everything that was in this box, the wires and games and stuff like that, I paid 40 bucks, but that seemed like a really dope deal to me. I think 
at the last swap meet that I went to, I sold a guitar for $30 by itself. So, like, if I could sell, hell, $15, $20 per guitar, two of them, that's paying for everything that I just bought. So, and I think this one here actually goes for some decent coin. And I'm not 100% sure if any of these require having a dongle. That's what I was worried about and why I didn't really want to purchase them at first. But when he said $40 for everything, I was like, ah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a try. Then we got this nice little bundle right here, which if I edited it properly, you would have heard that I picked up a new plug with this purchase i had to drive i want to say like no nah, not too far it wasn't too bad like 30 minutes or something like that and i got the ps2 the memory card multi-tap which i just watched the video shout out to adrian adler i was watching his video and he said these just picked up at in price to be about 25 30 bucks so that's cool and then we got four ps2 controllers which is amazing working controllers is one of my biggest things like i get consoles look i got i got a ps3 right here like i get consoles but it's working controllers that i have a huge problem with so hopefully all of these work or at least most most of them but uh and we got the ps2 and i picked up all of this for 50 bucks and lastly we got this little bundle here that i picked up at the swap meet from one of the tables actually the same person that i was supposed to have gotten the warriors from but i stupidly passed on it but anyways this is still a really good deal i got both the og xbox ps3 with the wires and everything for $50 and he's really good about testing his stuff before he saw he lets you know oh this one doesn't work this doesn't work, work whatever so but I've also heard that before about how things are supposed to work but they end up not working so of course we're going to test all of these consoles I'm also going to go through all of these okay you can't see them right now but I'm also going to go through all of the DVDs and see if any of them have value of at least $10 or more so let's get to that but first let's check these consoles to see if anybody accidentally left us any goodies inside all right decided to go just go with the ps3 because it was literally right there on the edge anyways but i don't see the little blue dot so i don't think yeah nothing dude look at the decal on this xbox like first of all it needs cleaning but like do i even i'm not even gonna bother trying to take this off i don't even know is it a sticker or what like seems like like it's some type of hard plastic is this a special edition xbox 360 i mean og xbox i actually have no idea but anyways it's plugged in. I think, yeah, this is the eject button. Oh, what is this? Terminator Dawn of Fate. I'll take it. All right, next up, we got the PS2. Uh, the light comes on, so that's good, of course. Oh. 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 Huh. Okay, that was... I didn't even, that was, that was really sus. Unfortunately, there's no disc either, but that was sus. Dude, I really hate how Nintendo had to be all extra with their special power block. Like, dude, everything else used the same cord and they was like, nah, you have to go buy ours because Nintendo innovation, like whatever, dude. And you didn't even give me a disc. I can't stand Nintendo. Okay, we are one for four right now. Let's see if this PS3 will change our luck. Oh, something's in there. I didn't see a blue light. Oh, what is it? DC versus Mortal Kombat, I think, right? Yeah, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Let's go, I'll take it. Okay, we are two for five right now. This is the best that it's been in quite some time. Can we keep it going? Uh, whoa, wait, what's this one gonna be? Call of Duty Black Ops 2, let's go. Okay, running into this console reminded me that the Xbox also did that. They changed their power cord with every, the regular Xbox 360, the Xbox 360 Slim, and whatever this, what is this, the Xbox 360 like Super Slim or something like that. They changed their plug with every, luckily I had one of these lying around, but they really changed their plug with every single console that they drop, every rendition of the 360. PlayStation is the only one that stayed into like, that like the uh like the regular power plug having ecosystem ridiculous man anyways rant aside let's see uh do they have a game for us was that the power or was i don't even know how to open this thing actually was that the power or do you was oh okay that's the power wait how do you open this thing hold on is it a push hold on oh oh, oh wait do i have to push that? Is it that oh i see that's a button I don't even know how to work this thing. Okay, is the button gonna button though? Oh, 
NBA 2K13. Dude, yo, we, we hit today. Now, none of these titles are anything special or worth much, really, but out of seven, we got four extra games. Getting extra games in general is awesome. So I call today's a win, especially all those other consoles I get with. I don't be getting nothing. Okay, so I went through every single DVD, and honestly, even though there was quite a bit, they're all right here, it actually wasn't that bad to go through and price them all. Now, unfortunately, they're not worth like anything. Nothing was worth over like $5. Well, except for this thing right here. I saw people buying it new for like $15, $20. Obviously, this isn't new it's open so i'm thinking i can get like eight to ten bucks for it plus shipping oh also the max Payne. what this isn't a dvd this is actually ended up being a pc game but um this game right here alone will get us our money back plus this right here but what i ended up doing was separating all of the like dvds that were kind of the same so these are all like justice league dc dvds and i'm thinking i could just make one massive bundle for i don't even know like honestly i paid five dollars for everything so really anything i priced this at is a come up for me maybe i can do this entire bundle for like maybe 20 bucks i don't know i don't I like i don't really know the prices of dvds i don't know the dvd market so i did the same thing over here as well i got some teenage mutant ninja turtle bundle uh the super mario show bundle dvds and then a bunch of scooby-doo dvds down there so i don't know i'm gonna price them all um these ones will be going up on my ebay and as for these over here i'm gonna i think my buddy knows somebody that just buys a bunch of dvds in bulk and i'm probably just gonna hit him up ask him what to do with these ask him who he sends his bulk dvds to and such so that's what i'm gonna do with this stuff and then this stuff over here will be going on my ebay but here goes everything let me know what y'all think of this week's pickup i think this is kind of slamming this is one of the best ones that we've had lately it's been kind of super dry out there video games is a tough market i want y'all to know just because you see me here doing these, finding these crazy banger deals, it is not that easy. You have to be on the prowl day in, day out, always, always searching, looking for those come ups, looking for those steals and those deals. And also it's yard sale season. So I'm going to be hitting up the yard sales like crazy. Anyways, not to ramble on, I paid $300 for everything that y'all see here. Let me know what you think of this week's pickup and I'll see you on the next one.